puff sleeves, ink, and I like cooking in theory. Of all my mental problems. Would you look at this? Really, really good. But it's really cute because this is the color. Hello, good morning. Welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey if you're new here. If you are new, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and follow me on Instagram. I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick. My throat is like scratchy. I could tell that my it was all itchy yesterday. So I have a little bit of that like throaty thing going on. But I just unboxed an amazing package. I am on the hunt for some beautiful dresses for Paris. And I'm trying to get my wardrobe together, make sure everything's in, and I'm happy with it. So I ordered some dresses from Aubrey. They have the most stunning dresses. So first one, I got this bubble dress. This is just like a bit of me. Bubble, pink, fun. Just, you know, a bit of me. Next, I got a white one. Aj is really good at their like puffed shoulders, silhouettes. This was just like, oh, so beautiful. It's so elegant, but it's also like cotton material, so you don't feel too overdressed. It has this cutout detail, skirt, puff sleeves. So good. Lastly, I got this dress. This is another one of their classic. They have like this really cool hem and silhouette that they do where it's like a little bit, you see that? It kind of goes like high-low a tiny bit. Has a little cutout, but not too much. Short skirt, puff sleeves. Let's try it on. Okay, here's the first dress. So <laughs> I got it too big, so I'd have to size down. So picture it more like that. Picture it a little bit tighter, a little bit shorter. Is it too long? Is it like a weird length? I love the puff sleeves. The material of these dresses are just so beautiful. So pretty. But is it too much? The color on camera is looking a little bit more like orange. It's it's kind of like, I don't know what to describe this color, but it's very pretty. What do we think? Okay, here is the bubble dress. I love it. It's so pretty. The top, I don't know. Do I have like body dysmorphia? My, this is not my size. It's too big up top. Um, So I have to size down again. But look how beautiful this dress is. I love it. It's so fun and pink and cutesy. It is a little like girly i think the hair is too much so what do we think i don't think so though i think it's beautiful i love the like puffed sleeves the back is so pretty the zipper is like stunning what do we think i think it's really pretty all right here is the white one it is so beautiful i love the cutouts i love the sleeves again i got them all in a size too big so i need to size down but i think it's so stunning i'm not wearing a bra or nipple covers and it's so thick like you can't even see through which i think is beautiful i love how the cutouts go all around the side and I haven't fully zipped up the back, but it has these like buttons. It's it's beautiful. I just need to size down. But I think I really, really like this one. Just picked up salad. I got just salad. Chicken poblano salad, the best one I've ever had, honestly. Love it. I used to really, 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 really like it a little even more than I do now. But they changed the dressing so it's a little bit spicier. So you don't get to like, you don't get to taste it as well, I feel like, because it's a little bit spicier. But it's still like the best salad ever. You have to try <laughs> just salad. This will fill you up. Look how good it is. And I took my little puppy do for a W. And then I'm going to go over here, finish working. Yeah, that's today. All right, this is me the next day. I went shop. Shopping. Here I was at and other stories. This dress was so cute in theory, but terrible on me. Then I went to Sephora, Saks, tried on some more Aj dresses. I really like their dresses. This one I was in love with. I am still thinking about this one. And then this Love Shack fancy dress. It was doing like a weird buckling pinch thing and didn't look great with my skin tone, but it's really pretty in theory. And then this Aj dress, the puff sleeves are, it's more like fashion-y than flattering. That's how this one went. And then I tried on another Aj dress. This one is stunning. It's really heavy and like thick and luxurious. And then this one is a Staud dress. The next day I met up with a friend. We went to a couple wine bars. We had a little wine tour. And then met up with Dan and another friend and went to dinner. Look.
it. Uh, the is gigantic. Gigangor. No, it's not the word. Gigantuous freaking <laughs> lilies. They're like the most beautiful flowers I've ever gotten almost. But I got them from Trader Joe's. They have blossomed and bloomed. I know they're not going to last that long, but they smell incredible. Literally the first thing you smell when you walk in our apartment are these lilies. It got to the point where over the weekend, my friend was sitting here and they were like, literally like it's becoming a problem. It's a little too like smelly in a good way. Um, Anyway, look how freaking stunning they were. And they're, I think they were like five bucks, but I've never seen prettier flowers. So, yo, my baby. All right, it's actually not the morning, it's later, and I've just been working on my computer, but I'm getting dressed, we are heading out. We're gonna go venture out. I have been hibernating for the past year plus, like I just completely have never taken my camera outside of my apartment, like I don't film anywhere else. My camera, because like I'm a little scaredy cat and I'm gonna try to face my fears today. <laughs> And I'm gonna go to the dog park, Brooks, because he really just like needs that time. And I'm taking my Monday easy today. Easy, it's like, it's not like my life or my job or anything is that hard. But, you know, to each their own, everybody's on their own little personal journey. My feelings are valid. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so we're gonna venture out. We're gonna take B out. I need dry shampoo because my hair is gross. I've been using this Chlorine dry shampoo. Dry shampoo with oat milk. This one is literally powder. And I got it, whoa, I got it when I was in Paris a little less than a year ago. I've been using it ever since shoe. Um, I heard this is the best brand, but something about the powder gets messy, but it really does work. So maybe I'll get some more. Oh my gosh, when I'm there. Like that can't be good for my lungs. I know it's better for the ozone layer and whatnot, but hard to direct. I've seen the like ones now where they have the little like brush and you dab it in. Maybe that would be easier. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a sec. I need some sunscreen. Should I put you in my medicine cabinet? The lighting is terrible. Super goop. Sunscreen. Don't get this shit in your eyes though because it freaking hurts. Down my neck, backs of my hands, chest. Clinical strength baby because I am just that kind of girl. I, I took a hard turn from using natural deodorant to using fully clinical strength deodorant. I am who I am, so now I need the brush. I don't know what kind of magic this brush is on, but it's fabulous. I love it. Ouch. Let's just brush in that baby powder. All right, that's better, I guess. And then a little bit of this Orbe. Gold Lust hair oil to try to s just do anything I can with this right now. I was looking at a video of myself earlier. I was the blondest I've ever been. Like I dyed it from the freaking roots. Ash blonde and I'm just like, I don't think it looked very good. But I also don't know if what I have now is my perfect, what I would want, I don't know. But there was a point where I was like really upset if my hair wasn't blonde. I felt like that was my identity, but maybe I'm just not. I don't know. What do we think? What do we think about the whole blonde hair thing? Should I dye my hair? Should I give some highlights? Should I let the natural thing work? I do kind of like the way that I get mm, some highlights in my natural color a little bit. And the bottom is more of that like, maybe I just need a bleach in town. A bleach in town. All right, let's get dressed. What am I going to wear? Alexa, what's the temperature outside? What does 55 mean? I don't know. It's like that really freaking hard, weird time of weather where you just don't know how to dress. All right, here's what we landed on. Groundbreaking. H&M sweater, Levi's, Zara coat, New Balance, Sunny's hand. Got little Brook Brooks' little bag and water. Let's put them in. Sit your little butt in here. Oh my gosh, do you fit? Is it too much stuff in there? No, I think you're good. Would you look at this? Can you look at this? That's so cute. <laughs> Here's the thing. I really wanted to be <laughs> good and bring my camera, but I really just like don't even have room. Am I going to do it honestly if I even bring it? All right, I don't know. All right, bye. Here's us at the dog park. I love this dog park. It's my favorite one. They have a small dog area and Brooks just has the best time, so do I. Here's us afterwards. We sat in the park for a little bit, waited for Dan, and then on the way home, we picked up Inde for dinner. This was my first time having their bowl. These potatoes were insane. We did the Momofuku chili crunch that we have on the side. It was delish. Whoa, whoa. I don't know where 
the microphone is on this camera, so I never know if I'm blocking it, but hi! Not the state of me right now. I'm doing my nails. <laughs> My fake tan, I cannot. I actually ran out of fake tan last night, so I used like the last squidge of my Tan Lux The Gradual. <laughs> Literally middle school, yeah, middle school, I was a serial side pony rocker. That's what that's reminding me of right now. Anyway, uh, joke's on me because I did not bring my camera out yesterday. I didn't do it. And now, um, it's the next day and I have been filming nothing. I really have like been down in the dumps about the trajectory of my career and like what I wanna do with my life. Like, you know, 20, 20 year old something things. Oh, there goes the air conditioning. Yeah, it's just like hard trying to like be out here and grow on social media um, because nobody wants to watch my things. So every day is like the entrepreneurial vibe of like, should I quit? Should I not quit? Yeah, and I have like my other streams of revenue and my other side projects and stuff like that. And also like uh, Dan has a really good job and Okay, I don't want to like get into this right now, but anyway, I've been struggling lately with like what do I want to do with my life and yeah, I'm just out here. Making these videos make me so happy. I love YouTube. I always have when I like just focus on myself. So I think I need to like take a little bit of a step back from social media, um, like looking at it and like just have some fun with it. So that's where I'm at. If you want to follow me, that'd be great and it would really solve all my mental problems, <laughs> which is like so stupid, but yeah. Anyway, I'm doing my nails. Today is... Tuesday, Dan stayed home from the office today, which is like literally the best day ever. Um, we're gonna spend some time outside. We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna cook a nice little dinner. And right now I'm doing my nails. I've been having a nail crisis. Like, do I like long nails? Do I like short nails? Do I want a fun color? Do I want like pink and red? So I did do tips. And now comes the time where I contemplate for an hour. Do you like how my spacer matches my sweatshirt? Oh my God. Hi. Now I contemplate for an hour what color I'm gonna do. It's really fun. So, I'm thinking pink, like let's just be real. I had gray pink. Can you see the color on my toes? That's the color I had on my fingers. And now I'm like, oh, do I do red? But I'm just feeling like neutral vibes right now. I have you on my Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover thing here. How did I have that before? Yeah, okay. So, here are the contenders right now. OPI Funny Bunny. Let's give it a swipe, and see if I like it. Yeah, you know, like it's just not giving what I want to give at the current moment. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Pale, mm, it's pretty. Or I was literally thinking like, should I do white? Should I do alpine snow? And just like literally do white. I used the D&D &D Clear Ace and Top Coat. I got it on their website. I will link it down below. Okay. I'm also freaking starving. I've been so bad at getting groceries the past two weeks. Um, something about me is that I freaking love watching cooking videos. I love cookbooks. I like cooking in theory, but honestly, like, I don't cook that much. And I haven't felt like cooking lately. I want to cook, like, in my head, and I want to watch other people cook. But I never actually make the recipes myself. Hello? Hi. All right, I did my nails, and I did, like, a little chrome moment. A little Hailey Bieber chrome moment. I did Funny Bunny two coats, and this chrome powder. I actually got it from D&D. It's not the OPI one. So I'll link everything down below, but I should be running a nail salon. Look how freaking good these look. Love. And then I got this at H&M yesterday. I've been wanting more like athletics. This might be better for this class instead of whole month, and I'll have different classes during those days. A lot of times, time, time show up a little bit. Alrighty, I finished up work, and it took a little bit longer than planned. So, our big plans to go to the grocery store, get food, cook dinner, not happening tonight. We got a little hungry. We ended up ordering Dig In, a really good, easy, like, healthy-ish dinner. Healthy dinner, whole food type of dinner, weekdays and stuff. They have, like, bowls, and you make, like, a protein bowl. I always do the make-your-own. I do the herb-roasted chicken, sweet potatoes, some type of veg. Their veg is really good. The charred broccoli. And then it comes on a base of something, so you can get rice or greens or something. Whoa. I got the butternut squash farro. Delicious, and then like a garlic aioli. I think we might have gotten a side of their mac and cheese is really good. Um, look at these lilies. I got these flowers over the weekend. About my balance right now. I got these flowers over the weekend, and they are just like the most bloomed, crazy, stunning flowers. Look. 
Look at how stunning those are. Probably won't last very much longer, but they're beautiful. I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store maybe tomorrow. We're both going out to dinner tomorrow, so it's hard to like plan dinners for the week. Thursday, we're making dinner here. And then Friday, Saturday, dinner plans. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I did my nails. Did I show you guys my nails? I think they look good. I'm gonna fluff the couch because we had friends over this weekend and so we used 10 billion blankies. So let's give her a nice fluff. Make this place feel nice. So many blankets. Oh, excuse me, I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready yet. I always find my socks on the couch because I can't be under covers with socks on. So I take them off. Ow. Nail. All right, she's all fluffed. Look how amazing this looks. So cozy. I did find three sets of socks. One, two, three. Over the span of like probably two days. Look at how the nails like shimmer in the light. That's like the chrome powder. You see that? Well, let's see. So fun. Um, the sweatshirt's by Aritzia, by the way. I freaking love it. The Cozy AF. Boyfriend sweatshirt, Levi's, Dairy Boy hat. I'm in desperate need of doing laundry. I'm gonna throw some in after dinner. Dan's picking it up now. Here he is. Here's my bowl. Chicken, sweet potato, farro, broccoli. I got a side of mashed potato. Mac and cheese. I mean mac and cheese. Our chicken looks the same, did you get? Yeah, it changed. Oh, nice. I love broccoli. SOS. <laughs> I am heading out. Let me show you my outfit. I am wearing this striped shirt, long sleeve from Zara. Actually, these are from Zara too, the marine pants. I think these are one of their best sellers. It's like a fun pant, <laughs> not my perfect everyday jean, but comfy enough, no pockets in the front. <laughs> Uh, this top, like I said, Zara, Zara, New Balances, and my trench coat from, I think this is from ASOS, yes, bag, and Ray-Bans, and that's the outfit. I'm meeting Dan out. We're gonna go see about, I'm gonna go see about, we're going to proper cloth. He wants to get a, like, made-to-measure work coat for our trip, so we have an appointment then, hopefully the grocery store, pop around a little bit, and then come back and finish working, but it's nice to be able to, like, pop out. Anyway. Here's the outfit, and I have an H number turn I'm dropping off, and that's today. Here's proper cloth. It will take a little bit to be made, but highly recommend if any guys looking for a custom jacket. Hi guys, I don't know if I've filmed literally anything today. I just came back <clears throat> and I had a whole last day outside. It's like this mist outside. I was getting a light mist everywhere I went and I wore this so I could get my shots and then I wore my trench coat um, but I was a little cold. But I still had a day. I got my shots done. This one is really bothering me today. Very itchy. Then I went to, oh and I dropped off a package at DHL. Then I went to 260 Sample, got a few things. I will show you that after. And then I went to Whole Foods. So I grabbed a few things. The week's practically over and we have dinner plans today, Friday, Saturday. But tomorrow we're cooking dinner and having my brother over. So I got some things for that. And I was literally starving. It's not good to go grocery shopping. My self-control was on point. Past McDonald's, oh my god, I want McDonald's so bad. Didn't get it. Past Chick-fil-A, oh my god, I want Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and then I wanted to eat everything in the store, but I did get some pineapple for me to eat right now. Let me just take a bite so that I have enough energy to even get through this haul. Oh my god, that's so good. I think cut up fruit is a racket. A trillion dollars, not worth it. This was six dollars and on sale with Prime, which is amazing. So I was like, you know what? For my lunch, I really want it. Also, most of them were looking like pale. You know when pineapple is like pale? You can't even get a lot of fruit in the store right now, like, cause it's out of season and stuff, so. But this is fire. Really, really good. Let me show you my haul. So I went there because I need peas. We go through canned peas, like, it ain't nobody's business. That's what Brooks eats. He eats like kibble, 
peas, chicken. Honestly, to have a dog, people talk about it costing money monthly for food and stuff. He really doesn't cost that much. This will last a while and it's like a dollar. And the kibble lasts like a month, maybe like 20 bucks a month for the kibble. So I got that. Then I got salsa. I freaking love salsa. But I've been really wanting to make like a breakfast burrito. I've been craving like breakfast burrito vibes, even though like I kind of hate eggs. Eggs give me the ick, so I don't eat a lot of them. But in a breakfast burrito, mm, so good. So I got that and I got these corn tortillas. Really not bad. One tortilla is 70 calories. I guess um, I'm on this like health journey, so I'm definitely watching what I eat. And I have been noticing my body changing, so it's encouraging. So I'm trying to make some options to eat during the day that aren't terrible for you, but still taste good. Anyway, tomorrow we're having my brother over. I think we're making chicken parm. So as I just talked about like health, whatever. If you're having family over like. So I got pasta, I got fusilli. I got two of them, I think. And I got chicken. I got a honey crisp apple. I've been on an apple wave lately. I got these tomatoes. These tomatoes are my favorite. They're like multicolored grape style tomato. And then I got this. When I tell you like we are groceries every week, we do not buy bread and we do not buy milk. Like those are not things that we consume very much of. Um, if we're buying bread, we'll buy like fresh baked loaf and eat it for dinner that night or eat it whenever. We don't keep a lot of bread in the house. So especially not like sliced bread, but I've been kind of craving something for like mornings or lunch that's not like a lettuce wrap or a salad. I've just been craving that kind of vibe. It smells so freaking good. So I thought I'd try my hand at Dave's Killer bread. I've never tried it before. This one is the good seed. If you've tried any of these breads, let me know, if, like what's the deal? 70 calories for one slice. I don't know, we'll try it out. It might grow moldy and we'll throw it out in a few days if I don't eat it, but at least I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and eat this freaking delicious pineapple. Okay, let me show you what I got at the sample sale. So I went to the Stony Clover sample sale, 260 sample, high B. Got a few things. It was really like picked over. They had a bunch of ones that had both Kendall and Libby's initials on them, which are the owners. So they probably used it for like staging purposes, all that stuff. And then there was a lot of tie dye and camo print. They also had a lot of duffel bags if you were into that. I don't really need a duffel bag right now, so I didn't get that. But I did find this. I think this is part of their Love Shack Fancy X Sony Clover collab. My freaking love Love Shack Fancy. So, so this was 25 bucks. Feels really nice. Quality. Cute little pink and white purple moment. And then I got this which this is technically a handbag. And I looked online and it's literally like $125. I got it for 30. Um, I don't think I'll use it really as a handbag. I thought it would just be like another bag style, but it's really cute because this is the color that I love of theirs. And I got these patches to put on them. So they have like all bunch of patches. You just tell them the letters you want. So I got my initials. They're all in this color. It's this like pink with gold. So, got my initials. I'm gonna put it on here. And that's what I got from Stony Clover. There's a bunch of other things. I think the sale goes till Sunday, so I don't know if I'm, I'm not gonna put this up in time, to be honest, so I apologize. I post it on my Instagram as well. But yeah, and then across the street, they had another sample sale going on. Was Morgan Lane, Ness, Eve Loam, and something else. So, I got Eve Loam. I really love their sunscreen. They didn't have it. But these are the cleansing oil capsules. They were like 15 bucks and sold out online. But they're little pinch capsules. Capsules? How do you fucking say that? Am I saying that weird? Capsules. Cap capsules? 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 What was I saying before? Capsules? <sighs> the word means nothing now. Yeah, they're like little individual pinchy pots. So I got this one. They had little travel ones, which I think would honestly be better, but this was a better deal. You get 50 of them in here, so whatevs. Then I got these. Slip scrunchies are my favorite ever. I love them. I really like the mini ones or the thin ones. They look like this. Let me see what these look like. Since it is like a sample sale, they don't always have like the most desirable colors. Like they didn't have like black and white but this one had black and these like copper tones so i thought why not whatever it's fine these ones have polka dots little copper ones and brown i mean black but i really like these mini ones these were 20 bucks and usually i think they're like 35 maybe so not a crazy discount but i love these so i just grabbed 
And then they had a bunch of Nest candles. So I got this one. This is Nest X Grey Malin. I love Grey Malin. He's one of my favorite um, photographers. We actually have a picture of his up in our room that Dan's friends got him for his birthday one year. But I have a bunch of Grey Malin stuff. Like these cards right here. Dan got me these photographic playing cards. He does a lot of pictures with animals and they all look so cool. They just did one in Paris that was so, so amazing. It was literally dogs in Paris, which are like, mm. but also their Pomeranian like wasn't even really cute. So me and Dan were like, we should really get Brooks into showbiz because we would smoke these dogs. Oh my gosh, the hives on my neck. I got my allergy shots today and they're really, really bothering me. Anyway, we would smoke those dogs. If you're a freaking dog manager person, please hit me up. Um, I have a star on my hands. I got this Nest X Malin Amalfi Lemon Mint Scented Candle. So it'll be like my little summer scent. It's got like a summery lemon scent. Now that it's getting warmer, I think that will be lovely. So that's what I got. I'm going to my friends. We're gonna have dinner together and hang out and stuff. I need to finish up a few things here first. So I'll talk to you later. Bye, baby. Are you a star? You're a star. I cannot go two feet with him without getting stopped on the street, so. It's not just me. It's not just me who thinks he's cute. It's not like parent syndrome where you think your baby's cute. He's objectively cute. Okay. Bye. All right, here's a quick rundown of the weekend because of course I didn't film anything but on my phone. Here's my outfit for dinner. These Texas Paris boots, can you even? We went to dinner at Mr. Capri. Uh, it's giving Capri. <laughs> my cocktail had a salad on it. We shared a prosciutto and a caprese salad, pasta, and dessert. It was delicious. The next night we went to dinner with a couple friend. Here's my outfit. I was kind of liking it. We went to Do Not Disturb. Cocktails were amazing. We shared a tuna tartare appetizer. The burger was really, really good. The next day we went to Dirty French with some other friends, had brunch, little mimosas. These pancakes were so good. Then our friend grabbed a bunch of bagels at Thompson Square Bagels. And later when we walked Brooks that night, New York was looking really pretty. Nights like this really make me appreciate and remind me how much I love the city. We don't intend on staying here forever, so I try to appreciate it while I can.